The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society was born of a family's grief over the loss of a son. Over the past 60 years, the society has gone international, funding blood cancer research around the world. Alicia Tallarico is the executive director of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society here in Montreal, and Jamie Martinez is a survivor of acute myelogenous leukemia. And welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. So first off, this is, is blood diseases are, are far more common than, than we like to think, isn't it? They are. Um, sometimes what happens is that people think that <clears throat> leukemia is the only type of blood mm -hmm. cancer, but because there's also lymphoma, myeloma, there's a lot of cancers, there's a, actually it's more prevalent than people think. Um, right now there's a, currently about 100,000 Canadians that are living with blood cancers of some type. So it's a lot. Yeah, and and the treatment's really tough, isn't it, Jamie? I mean, it, you know, I mean, you're you're doing great right now, but uh, when you were being treated, it's it's not easy. It was horrible. I went through five rounds of high dose chemotherapy and three days straight of radiation, and each round came with its own set of awful side effects. I was blind for three days. I had blue and purple rashes all over my body. I couldn't walk. I couldn't eat. I lost so much weight. I was about 84 pounds. And just every day was blood tests, MRIs, CT scans, and it's just horrible to be so young and not know whether or not you're going to live or not. Yeah, because so you were 23 years old. I was 23 years old. Is, is there anything, do we know anything about the causes, the prevention, anything about? Not really. It's really, there really isn't any clear cut trigger to why people get any type of blood cancer. Um, there's some theories, uh, you know, chemicals or uh, people that have been exposed to radiation or chemotherapy. But for example, in, in James' case, that, what, that didn't happen. And in a lot of cases, um, people just, they just get it. And we don't know why we have children that have it, adults are basically yeah, these a lot types of kids cancers. affected by this. Yeah, they just don't discriminate. Anyone can get it. How did you find out that you um, were sick? I was going to school and I was really stressed out and I thought it was just me feeling sick or overtired, but I started getting sporadic bruises all over my body. I thought maybe I was anemic. We didn't know what it was and then I went to see my doctor who said I looked very pale, so she sent me for a blood test and they found abnormalities in my blood and the next day I had a bone marrow biopsy and after that it was just blood transfusions and treatments and it took about two months to find out that it was actually leukemia. Now you've been clear for about for over five years now yes. right so it's, which is which is fantastic Amazing. but but has the prognosis it gotten better over the years it must be with the research and the funding definitely it's definitely been better since um 19 the 1960s we've gone i've seen either double or triple the survival rates depending on the type of uh leukemia or lymphoma that we're talking about uh in particular hodgkin's lymphoma the survival rates are very high they're over 90 percent same thing with um all which is a type of leukemia same thing really high survival rates now in jamie's case the type of cancer that she has aml um we're still actually uh pro working on that right now it's one of the cancers that we really want to see higher survival rates because we're only at about 25 percent with that one in particular but you of all people know how important the funding is right the research I mean you've you've lost friends to this yes cancer research saved my life I was given nine months to live when uh, my only brother was in a bone marrow match and I had a cord blood transplant in January 2006 but when I was in the hospital there were two other women there with me that didn't survive um, Lenny Marr and Mimi Pugic who also died of leukemia and I'm fighting for them and you're because, walking for them and right? I'm walking for them yeah because it's the light the night and that's going to take place in on in October October 22nd on Saturday October 15th oh I have I have the 27th. We have several walks, that's why. Okay. <laughs> okay, so in Montreal it's going to be on that's October right. 15th. And uh, best of luck to you both. Thank well, you. Thank you for having us. And, and you look great. Thank well, you. Thanks so much for coming in. <laughs> thanks. We'll be right back. Visit ctvmontreal.ca for the latest news. Plus, join the discussion and get instant updates through Facebook and Twitter. Stay informed and stay in touch. promoting extracts, if they could get them on their own, they would. Lutein from marigold, fiber from wheat and barley, and myrtle with all the protein they love. Natural Defense, protection for life. <laughs> 